All right, before I call it quits tonight, scientists had to make thousands of calculations to create the atomic bomb and determine its effects. Computers and atomic bombs, both products of World War II, grew up together. Hmm. Yo, let's start a new game. <laughs> Snake, do you remember the sinking of that tanker two years ago? Of course. No, I don't. Terrorists blow a hole in an oil tanker full of crude barely 20 miles off the shore of Manhattan. Your classic nightmare. It didn't take long for the government to put an oil fence around the whole mess. And then that massive offshore cleanup facility went up inside. The big shell. The big shell. I hear the cleanup isn't quite over yet. It takes time. But in the meantime, the shell's become a landmark. A symbol of environmental protection. Calling teams Alpha and Bravo. Deploy at the big shell as scheduled. Approximately six hours ago, the big shell was. I got a big shell in my pants. Wait, what? Former members of the Navy SEAL Special Anti Terrorist Training Squad Dead Cell. Russian private army members may also be involved. It's a highly trained group and they have the big shell under complete control. Dynamite in his mouth? There was a government sponsor. Because they can do whatever the fuck they the want. That day. Hostages, huh? A VIP from one of the major conservation groups, and one from our own government. The most important person in a sense. The most important person? James Johnson. The president? Unless the demands are James made, Jonathan Johnson the the III. Shell out of the water. And the crude will ignite, turning the Manhattan Harbor into an inferno. That's not the worst case scenario. If the chlorides being used to decontaminate the seawater go up with the oil, toxins containing catastrophic levels of dioxins will be released. In other words, the bay's ecosystem will be wiped out, and the sea will turn into a toxic soup for centuries, becoming the worst environmental disaster in history. Well, fuck. That is all. You have two mission objectives. One. Infiltrate the offshore decontamination facility Big Shell and safeguard the president and other hostages. And two, disarm the terrorists by any means necessary. But I thought these guys weren't terrorists. You should know that SEAL Team 10 is also conducting a rescue operation. Joint effort? No. Foxhound remains a No, but you can fire. smoke a joint. Don't alert them to your presence. That doesn't that take any order. effort. Alright, don't alert anyone. So alert everyone. <laughs> Knowing my dumbass look. This is Snake. I'm now inside strut A of Shell One. How are things? We're in luck. Looks like there are no sentries posted here. What's the visibility? The lights on the plant struts are functioning. I won't have to use the IR goggles. Any problems? There was a brand new hole cut through the oil fence. There's someone else besides me that wanted to get in badly. That's not possible. What about SEAL Team 10? They landed on the roof of the big shell as planned. And by the way, Snake, we're changing your code name for all following right communication. Right. What's wrong with Snake? Just a precaution. You are now designated Raiden. All right, Raiden. You've already covered infiltration in VR training. I've completed 300 missions in VR. I feel like some kind of legendary mercenary. Okay, we'll skip that part. Make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to reach you, contact you the codec will beep 
when you hear that noise, press yeah, the Yeah, this is stuff I'm nonsense part The codex part one. receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. All right. I'll contact you if anything changes. First, make your way to the upper section of the big shell. How do I get up to the next level? There's an elevator at the far end of that area. Use that. Sounds good. Your new sneaking suit uses electrofiber technology, a byproduct of fiber optics research. The texture isn't far removed from rubber, but the material protects against a wide range of toxic substances. The suit itself has a wide array of built-in sensors. It is referred to as smart skin in military R&D. Data about damage to different regions of the body, including blood loss, is exchanged between the suit and the intravenous nanomachines to create a feedback system. There's a lot of pressure on my torso. Relax, the suit applies... That's just your nipples getting hard. ...organs to maximize performance and safeguard their functions. They call this the skull suit in Foxhound. Skull suit seems appropriate somehow. The hatch with a circular handle will open into the elevator area. Locate the hatch first. Copy that. Moving on to main mission objectives. Jesus. It's a lot to take in. Right in. He's blonde hair. What the hell? He does cartwheels instead of uh, rolls. Look at my thing. Alright, uh. Scope. Man, they took out everything I fucking had. Nothing. None at all. So, what happens if I, uh. Just by curiosity. Call the two. Uh. 14192. Boom. Oh no, shit! Right in for yeah, 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 yeah. I wanted 14192. This is. No response! Aww. Did he die? I don't know. Okay. The, how the fuck do I save then? Ah. Psh, beats me. Stop calling 14175. Jesus. Alright. That's enough Metal Gear for me for tonight. When we come back, the adventures of riding continue.